what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your 8th ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which I'll be showing you what destructuring is now this destructuring is a new feature in ECMAScript 6 and it basically just allows you to assign values in a very fancy way so by that what what I mean is that let's just say you have this array right here you can either use var or lit I'll just go with var for now let's just say we have best sites in the world and then we have code dam on the number one why not then we have Google Yahoo Facebook Twitter, link, then, and so on and so forth. And uh, let's just say example. So we have this list. Now, let's just say I want to get the first three values from this array and store it in the variables first, second, and third. Now, a traditional JavaScript approach would be to do something like this. So I'll write first is best in sites world zero. Then we write second and best insights were one third. So that is kind of boring task to do. Well, it's eventually over. But what it brings in EMC script six is that it makes this thing interesting. So I can take out the three values in a single hit with this. So check this out. War first second third is best insights in the world that's it so what happened there well if you see carefully what I have done is that I've created this array assigned it a first second third and I've equated this to another array well what it does is that it would extract the first one the second one and the third one and now you can just alert out the first variable alert the second variable and alert the third variable and this should probably work like a charm so the first one says code dam second one is google third one is yahoo and that's it so code dam google yahoo here you go in the same order now if you want to extract like first second fourth then what you can do is just put a comma here fourth simple as that and how awesome is that actually so code dam google facebook no one defines no errors no nothing to caught about so what else you can do with this is that you can actually just throw in or basically just make use of the um I actually don't want to make use of the term right now because I have another tutorial for that but what you can make use of right now is just these three dots so what these three dots does is that they would combine everything else everything else you have in the array into a separate array so what this spread operator would eventually do oh I actually just told you what this is so this is a spread operator well you'll be getting another tutorial for this so I'm not gonna explain this very well in this one but what it does is it would just spread out this array and uh, pretty much just take a look yourself because I can't explain that you know the thing you will understand by seeing I can't explain that by just explaining well alright so let's just say rest here and rest and if I reload this page you can see that I get first one as code dam, second one as Google, and then all of those like that. So this right here, what it did is it just threw in an array of everything else. Now remember that you have to make use of these three dots because it's not like just you are writing some infinite number of dots and it will still work. So this is not an English class actually. So it, it has to work with three dots. So make sure you write three dots only and uh, what else you can do with this destructuring is that you can kind of 
get multiple values back from a function easily. Now let's say you have a function which just does everything possible to two numbers and a and b are the numbers and let's just say this function returns a plus b a minus b a times b a divided by b a modulus b and um, what else we do have we have a raised to the power b then is there anything else we have yes we can have a boolean as well here or a equals to b actually what else can we do well that is pretty much for this one and then what I can do is I can say var addition subtraction multiplication division modulus mod then power and equator and all that equals simple as that now how cool is that and how efficient is that in terms of readability and memory so that is a lot readable and instead of just like doing war result is this thing then just digging up the whole array to search all of the things so if i just console log add or subtract or whatever you like reload as you can see we get the result and again you can just throw in like whatever and just console log the whatever thing and you'll get this array right there so this structuring would also work with objects so you can have something like var food is um, let's just say burgers as mac burgers and coffee as starbucks and then what you can have is that var my food and basically just this is an object so you can have my food or basically you should have burgers as my burger and then we have um, coffee as my coffee and throw it in to this food so now if I console log burgers and reload this okay sorry this should be my burger actually because burgers is the property which from which we are extracting the data so if I reload this you can see that we get Mac burgers as the output now if you just omit this then you should probably guess by now what would happen now the properties or the variable names would be the property names themselves so if you just do it like this now as you can see it works just like before and like that so that was a bit about destructuring in ES6 and yeah so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching